Okay, where are we going, baby? Tree the tree house. <laughs> okay, good morning. Welcome to another day of the Bushcraft Tree House. I'll just really quickly show you what we've done this morning. <laughs> All I've done is I've just reinforced this platform by adding another timber to each of the four corners. And to reinforce these timbers on the corners, all we simply did was was uh, was dig those, dig them into the ground a foot, pound them in place like we did before, and then add these dowels to these dovetail notches to ensure that those aren't going to move. And the main reason I put these this this in is because <laughs> goofy. <laughs> and the main reason we put these in is because. If we get a good strong gust of wind and those trees move around a couple of inches and this notch actually pops out, it'll land on this. And likely what we'll do is we'll also add another timber to the middle here, maybe tomorrow or the day after, just to reinforce the center of that structure because there's gonna be a lot of weight up there. The reason I did that is because I think I'm going to build the actual tree house out of sod bricks, which is exciting because that I'm aware of, there are no sod tree houses in the world. I can't find one anyway. Okay, so what I wanna to tackle today is, is the door, possibly a window. So that's the plan, let's get to it. We gotta get to work, baby. Yeah. 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 <laughs> let's get to work. No. <laughs> what do you want, shreddies? Yeah. More shreddies, okay. Yeah. You gonna go with shreddies? Okay. Sometimes it takes forever to get the smallest tasking done when you got a little toddler in there. Wouldn't change it for the world though. Work time. All right, I've never actually built a door before, a bushcraft door, so I'm just going to wing it. Uh, in my mind, what I visualize is a door frame and then a door inside of it with a hinge on it that, that opens and closes. It's got some sort of lock or, or, or door handle that I can open and close it. And it's, it's closed enough that, that it's, the wind doesn't come through and it protects me from the elements, but it's not too heavy that the hinge doesn't swing. So that's my goal. We'll see how it turns out. Good job yourself. Here's the actual door portion of my door. Very, very simple. It's just two saplings, five braces. And what I've done with the braces is I've just alternated them. So that way when I put in my lattice work, the outward pressure will force those, those uh, braces into place. And then of course I just carved this down where it's gonna be locked into a notch so it can swing freely, freely like that. The only thing I gotta figure out is uh, some sort of handle system. So. These willow, which are super abundant down the river, are what I'm gonna use to weave. So that's pretty, that's pretty well how it's taken shape. The beauty of willow is it maintains its strength even when it cracks like this. It'll still be pretty good to use once it dries, it'll harden up. It's still like a cordage. Um, but, the, but this weave, as you can see, is not a typical weave because it always weaves around the rung. It doesn't, it doesn't alternate. And by doing that, you put extreme pressure on those rungs to force against this rail. So that'll be really, really solid when I'm done here.
there is just an unreal amount of pressure pushing on the rails. That's the advantage of using this kind of weave versus the alternating weave, is just look at these rails. These, these notches don't have to be super tight, like I always say, because there's outward pressure pushing on them. All it is is holding that in place. This is where the pressure comes from. Pretty close. Time to tackle that door frame. All right, this one might do. I think this will do. No, that was too punky. I need a good dry piece of standing. Standing poplar so I can drill holes in it for the, uh, for the hinge. I think that one will work. It doesn't look punky at all. You can put the camera down here. I'm not going to use drama and kick it over like I did last time, despite all the years of martial arts training I've had to do so. No, I'm just kidding. I will just use my saw this time. I'm going to keep this door frame really, really simple. It'll be, uh, Top and bottom made of, made of dry wood, split, split dry wood. Uh, sides made of green wood, and everything's going to be held in place with notches that will be held in place by the gravity of the sod walls. These notches don't have to be super, super deep or aggressive. They just have to be uh, deep enough that they keep the, the side of the door frame in place like this, okay? Because you have to visualize that this will be like that on top of it because we're building a sod house, a sod tree house. They'll be sawed on top of this rail right here, which will hold that in place, okay? So all I have to do now is just drill a hole through this wood here for my hinge. This is pretty close to the die or this is pretty close to the depth I want. This is the uh, this is the exact diameter of the actual hinge, so I'm down about an inch. This hinge will sit in there really, really nicely with all the weight of the saw on top of it and just move freely as I open and close that door, just like that. Beautiful. So as you can see, bow drills are more are more than just fire starters. You can use them for utilitarian stuff, uh, drilling holes for hinges and, and, and things of that nature. The secret to a good bow drill set, same principles apply, this one's just a lot bigger, is that when you when you use your bearing block, 
Make sure it's green wood. Make sure you put your, your spindle into a knot. That's what I did. It won't burn through or shoulder out that way. And it'll give you lots of opportunity to get deep because when you're working with something this big, it takes a while. There is our bushcraft door. I've never done a bushcraft door before. Super, super simple. All it is is this door that we built with uh, two saplings and then these five support braces used willow to close it off. Remember, you can close it off even more with smaller branches, uh, bark, leaves, anything like that. Tuck it in there, stop the wind from coming through. We also carved these hinges at the end and then burnt the holes in so that they could so they could swing freely like that, and they do. They work really, really well. And I'll apologize because I've got all these braces here, but this is just for demonstration purposes. This door is going to be upstairs on the platform in the uh, sod house. So remember this whole structure here, it's all notches. There's, co there's no cords here, so it works on the principle that weight will hold it in place. There'll be sawed adding downward pressure to the top of this frame, to the side of this frame, and to these feet that are left sticking out. So just visualize saw it all the way down, all the way around here, holding this structure in place. When this door moves, it'll move freely. Won't be any issue at all. Really, really happy with the way this door turned out.